How's it going boys and 2.7% today we are playing a Liliana deck Liliana is love and boys let me tell you something this is an incredibly good deck Turns out this Liliana is a lot insane when you combo it with the right pieces and I mean Lurus pieces So we have four Arc uh, uh, Arc Fiend vessels which is an overpowered card, so obviously you're gonna put it in a deck that has any form of resurrection whatsoever. Four dead weights, four hateful eidolons, and because magic is magic, you're always gonna start the game with a hateful eidolon and a dead weight. So, two Kai's ghost forms, uh, four Amir's grasps, four murderous riders, four lotuses, four Liliana waker of the dead. God, look at that waifu, so elegant, so pure. Two Rankles, the ugliest creatures alive, four K Crackle Bridge Trolls, one of the best arts in Magic, and two Liliana Dreadhorde Generalis and a bunch of lands, two Carnes Bastions, two Castle Lockwains, and 23 lands to be specific. Now this is an extremely good deck. You probably think that discarding your own card with Lily is not exactly the best move imaginable. But with Lurus and the card draw from Hateful Eidolons, it, it all turns out so great in the end. It's absolutely amazing, boys. Well, enough talking. Let's get into the action and let's see what happens. And in the meantime, we have three new people as Patreons. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, I like making videos for this game, that's why I do it. But when people so show support like that, that, that's just a whole different thing. So, thank you for the three new Patreons today. Dingo the Dog, Arlien, and Izzy. Uh, in quotes, Merp, which is probably one of the most original names we have seen in, uh, at all for a very long time. And... The third Patreon, where where are you? Where I I, I don't see you for some reason. R Ricardo the Buck. I almost said duck. So thank you, thank you for supporting me and my efforts to create magic, a worse place than it already is, which is obviously a challenge. Anyway, boys. Are we gonna lose because he out aggros us? We somehow got a hateful idol on, but did not get a dead weight, so admire. So, question, question mark. At, me, at least we're gonna kill the kitty. Okay, well, anyway, we have removal, we have a lotus, we have life gain, so technically, it's gonna all be good in the hood. Well, but this is probably one of the weakest stocks we have had. But a Lilian in hand, uh, a smile on my face, boys, a smile on my face. What's that? Oh, it's a no one cares card. Well, here we have it, boys, the Dedo, the de de Dedo, Waito. Sadly, I'm gonna probably have to do this instantaneously. Otherwise, that thing may actually become big, and when it's big, no one likes it because, well, it's a cat. Cats become dicks when they're big. My cat was a dick from birth to, well, this moment in time still. Can't even pet her without her trying to do MacGuffin magic. Anyway, oh, that, I should have probably read what this does. Oh god, that's a bunch of things. Okay, that's a little bit too much damage, not gonna lie, boys. Okay, where are, where, where are the rest of my dead weights and whatnot? Well, it's fine, these things have, uh, ha have, have what you call... Okay, a Lotus, that's actually perfect. So, here's he, here's the dream. He does not block. With both things. Good, he did not block with both things. That gives us a uh, particularly high chance of succession. Oh god, he has so many stuff! Do we draw? No, we did not draw even the best thing, huh? Oh, that's bad. Okay, uh, l let us hope for the best possible outcome, maybe? More dead weights or something? Did we just seriously draw every... Yes, we did. Okay, technically this is still fine because we can do this. And he kind of needs to block, otherwise he doesn't have the deeps. If he, if he blocks the Lotus with this... Oh, he does not block anything. Does he have enough to kill me? He only needs to drop one thing. Ah, god damn it! 
That was so close. Exact lethal. Man, if we only had dead weights uh, faster. Two Lilianas though, but nothing in the graveyard, which was bad. Admittedly, we completely overdrew on the lands. Honestly, very unlucky game, huh? It's kind of, kind of sad. Well, whatever. Onward we go. We almost won against an extremely aggro type of deck, which is still honestly a good sign. But yeah, if we got a little bit better, uh, met better MacGuffins, it would have been better. Ah. Okay. A Sarkon avatar. Oh boy, this is gonna be probably easy. Okay, cat on purple because Liliana and reasons. Here we have it. Hateful Eidolon and dead weight. And even a mild grasp. Wow. <clears throat> opponent. Your opponent. Oppo ah, opponent goes first. Ah. Ah. Wait, what, 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 is it matching me against aggro decks now? Uh, it seems like it. Ah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine, boys. You know why? Because no one sees Hateful Eidolons as, uh... OOF! Ah, uh, that's a big OOF. I don't want to play against that. Well, technically we're still fine. Enough Mire Grasps to, like, you know, ma make stuff happen for Infinity and beyond. Okay, how much... Okay, lands. Actually, four lands is not even that bad. Obviously gonna attack. There's no reason not to attack. Gain a little bit of life. A little bit of life there. A little bit of life here. Anything he drops can be Mire Grasped and then waited upon. So, this is perfect. Ah, oh, that's a deadly card. Which means he probably has Chandra spl Split Roast. Okay, that's that's honestly not great, but technically we 100% deal with it. Pip. Oh yes, boys. That's only one token also, which is phenomenal at the, this day and age. Okay, so currently everything is Why am I drawing 50 lands? Game? No serious question. Why? That that's all I uh, my deck kind of wants a lands, you, you, you need to understand it, but my deck does not exactly want 50 lands. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this, and we're obviously attacking with that guy. And now we're pressing uh, each player discards a card, and each player sacrifices a creature. Okay, since we have Liliana, Dreadhorde, Generalis, we should be good in the hood. Uh, not enough things in the graveyard, though, sadly. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Yes, he sacrificed that, as expected. Everything is fine. Kinda-ish. If he plays nothing... Oh, that's so sad! Game? Stop making me sad. Okay, that's a murderous rider. Game? Well played. You made Papa really happy right there, right now. And next turn we can play Liliana, and after that turn we can play Liliana. <laughs> oh boys. Oh look at that. That's liquid sadness right there. Ah oh, well, you know, you know, it's it's absolutely fine. Now we summon the Zomble token. And then we play Liliana in this thing. Ah oh, boys. What a great time to be alive. Oh, God, he's also drawing a lot of uh, things he doesn't want, huh? Well, that is absolutely spectacular. Okay, do the plus signs. <clears throat> do a little bit of plus here and there. Attack with everything. Again, good thing is we don't lose HP. Only enemy couldn't lose his HP. Oof, that's a big boy. Well, it's a big boy, but honestly, what does it matter? Not a lot, that much I can tell you for a fact. Okay, do that. Murderous Rider all the way through. And let's just ulti with Lily. Honestly, it's not the best ulti, but leaving him at one land does feel like really, 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 really good. Ah, uh, boys, this is just... This, this thing just feels so good to play. It's a monocolor. It's a it's amazing how how some specific monocolor decks just make me feel happy inside. It it honestly is just amazing how it happens. 
Ah, uh, and then we press this. Admittedly, we haven't drew, uh, gotten a Lotus yet. That's like the most questionable thing probably ever. Okay, let us attack with this guy. If he blocks, what does it matter? It doesn't. That that that's that's my secret. It doesn't. Okay, that's dead. Okay, enemy con. Uh, good luck. You're probably gonna need it a little bit. Ooh, a scorch spitter, huh? Well. Oh no, say it ain't so, now I can resurrect this guy. Ah, dead weights. Dead weights is pretty useful. Okay, do that, do this. I wonder what will I get out of this situation. Okay, let's see, who do we want? Maybe we want his own things against him. Ah, uh, nah, hateful Eidolon. It's not the best. But it's definitely something that makes makes me feel joy. Because we can play this on a Scotch Spitter, then he can't activate it. Boys! It's just a great time. Admittedly, attacking with this proves really no sufficient anything, but it's fine. Also, great job, Wizards, on bugging that card out. Probably should have killed Daxos, but honestly, at this point, it's more about sending the message than anything else, so we're good. Okay. If he attacks, he can kill my Lily, but honestly, again, what does it matter? We have one inside already. It doesn't even matter if I press the concede button now. We have one inside. Okay, that's a serious amount of not drawing anything, but here, Castle Lockwain. It's a card, and it does things, and that's minus 3 HP, boys. Okay, uh, might as well proliferate. Okay, so here's the deal. We can just flat out win with the rankle. Booyah! Oh yes, boys, even if he can block everything, it doesn't matter because rankle can make him pay 1 HP for uh, drawing a card. Oh, the best timeline, boys. The best timeline. Again, I probably just love this deck honestly because of the Liliana. What? I'm a simple person. I'm an extremely... Si I, I take pride. Well, actually, I don't. Again, boys, uh, it wasn't a life tip story, but... Uh, ah, well, actually, we can talk about it, considering we have not talked about Pride for an extremely long time. Long story short, don't have Pride. Pride is nothing useful. Pride is something that can be abused, and it will be abused by certain people against you. So, there you have it. A hateful Eidolon in the Mire Grasp. So... By the way, for all the people who still think this is no, not rigged, how I get a, a, a hateful idol on every time I start the game, explain to me why the same shit doesn't happen with Crackle Bridge Troll. How many times have we seen goddamn Crackle Bridge Troll in our opening hand? Oh, that's right, zero times, because that's not how it works. But Hateful Idol on a, a Dead Weights or a Myers Grass? Oh boys, that's like next level thing that I should get every time. Uh, we're gonna definitely do this. I have no idea if that's an... It probably most likely is a whatchumacallit deck, but yeah, this is just gonna be good. Okay, that's two cards, by the way, drawn. That's probably a Lurus, just saying. Lurus me up, magic. None of that looks like a Lurus, but maybe I'm just blind from the masturbation. I don't know. Anyway, something, something, pride, pride, pride. Okay, so pride essentially works like this. Extremely prideful people are abusable people. And, uh, and I mean abusable like there is absolutely no tomorrow. If you're a prideful person, well, congratulations. Abuse heaven right there, boys. Okay, he's probably not gonna like this Liliana. Uh, let's get rid of the swamp. So, people defend their pride, and that's the thing that we usually go for. And pride takes usually an extremely specific and self-explanatory and understandable form. Most of the time, pride takes the form of defense. If you offend someone in something that they take pride, for example, something that they legitimately can do. For example, they say they're good at math. You can just say, nah, you can't be that good at math, I don't believe you, you're lying. 
And they will need to defend themselves. AKA, you can get them to solve a math riddle. Or completely humiliate them because goddamn reasons, boys. That's how that things like that happen. Okay, let's play also this and then a dead weight. And that's, well, that's probably the easiest example of how pride manifests itself and how pride can be abused. Because the same type of way of uh, pride can be abused and that example can be abused uh, on absolutely every and any example. As long as a person takes pride in something, as long as you insult that pride sufficiently, you can make that person do something that you want. Now, it obviously kind of depends on a, uh, on, uh, on a thing or two, but in average... Oh, boys. What's that? Well, actually, I know I have put these things in my decks, but they never made it into a video because the card just does not work enough, good enough. <gasps> Nani? Uh-oh. Questionable, to say the least. Okay. Still fine, we have two cra crackle bridge trolls. So there, there you have it. Okay, this is probably gonna solve some dilemmas. Okay, and attack. Oh, look at that! Magic 1v1, let's be friends. How about absolutely never? Again, it's too much of a hustle, honestly. Okay, boys, so onward we go. By the way, this card is good with Lurs, if anyone's wondering. Probably extremely visible fact, but hey, that's life. Okay, I wonder what he's gonna do. He probably wants to AoE Vratus, which is fine-ish. Jesus Christ, what is that? Is that an angel deck? Oh, boys, it actually legitimately looks like an angel. Wait, was that smart? <laughs> Oof. Well, smart or not smart, you're sacrificing something and that draws me a card. Probably not smart, though. Okay, sacrifice two things, that's fine. We can sacrifice the Lotus and that. We're not in a good position, but we are going to be drawing a decent amount of cards now. Okay, a re-hateful Eidolon, useful. Okay, and now the Crackle Bridge Troll is gonna be able to attack. And we're gonna create a new one. So technically, card draw for days. But this guy has too many things that he can cast. I do not like this one bit. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine-ish. <clears throat> Took a little bit of damage. But I'm not sure if I can win a deck like this or not. It seems like extremely questionable to say the least. If we get a Lotus, we can do some magic pa magic, but you know, all in all, it's like, eh, really? Okay, we're also still drawing the absolute excess of lands possible, which is amazing. Uh, do we want to do that or do we want to put... I honestly want to just put it on that. That's fine. Okay, these two things are gonna draw me cards. More lands, game, please! It's like the only thing I didn't want to see, it, uh, lands. And you're just giving it to me like that is, you know, that, like, that's okay-ish. Is he gonna minus five? That would be absolutely devastating. Considering this is six. Yep. Holy fuck. Fuck, I expected that, not gonna lie, boys. Okay, and we continue to draw lands. What a great time to be a lot- More lands! Okay, yeah, that's just the surrender. Okay, this is a clear, not gonna let you win type of game. We never drew the Lotus, and we got too many lands. Currently, our both losses have been pretty much just the game has not wanted us to win, because reasons. Ah, well, that's absolutely fine. Onward! Yet again, boys. So. Also, today is the day that I have fig figured out that I really like this vitamin bar. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, look at that, a hateful Eidolon. Ah! Amazing! It's like... It's like it's... It, it's, it's like it's pre-scripted to exist there. Amazing. 
And a Kai's Ghost one. At least useful. Okay. Okay, that's actually not even remotely bad. Uh, attack, yes. <clears throat> We're gonna probably find something to kill that with, so it's fine. The real question here is, how good are we gonna be against a deck like this? A fountain? That's pretty slow. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay, gonna kill this in case he has something that to, uh, to sacrifice. Not quite sure, but you know, it's it's a fine choice. It's not like we're losing a lot there. Okay. Okay, so that's not bad. Let's get rid of it. I want draw cards. That's the main reason why we're doing it. Eh, yeah, more of da more of swamps, huh? Well, again, Crackle Bridge trolls are definitely a thing. There we go, lads. Absolute dominance. Who's the chat, boys? It's Liliana. Ah, oh, she could peg me all night. Not really, but you know, if she offered that, it it would at least take me a little bit of a while to say no. Ah, oh, what a woman. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, playing magic. Yeah, it's fine. It, it, it's a good hobby. Anyway, everything's going good, boys. All in all, I would like to say, Milf boss pretty happy with me. Said to the other Milf boss, take him, he's muscular. Good shit, boys! Ah, uh, not gonna lie, I was pretty happy about that one. Oh, look at that, a hateful Eidolon. It's, it, it's, it's like it's bugged without question. And, you know, people say, well, there's like a 50% chance to get a hateful... Okay, 50% uh, chance in one game, but this is like five fucking games in a row we start with a hateful Eidolon or something. Ugh, j j j just stop. J j just, just, just stop. You look stupid. Okay, Alurus, finally. Okay, so onward we go with the Ramble Stiltskin, the ugliest creature of all alive, and Crackle Bridge Troll. Look at that guy! It's like all he does is back. Ah, oh, god damn it, it's that type of deck, huh? Okay, not exactly great, so we're gonna have to do this. Okay, we have a Lotus, so it doesn't really matter that much. It's questionable, I know, but... Shrine decks, it's just uh, he get he needs to get enough lucky and, and, and it's and it's instantaneously GG because we're not exactly that much of an aggro deck. We're a cold deck that kinda deals with other creatures. Yeah, okay, that's the second shrine. Great stuff right there, boys. Ten out of ten would probably never play this game again. Next turn it's gonna be wrinkle and maximum card discardage that I have ever seen in my pitiful life. And then it's gonna be a crackle bridge troll because oh this card is just so good. Oh by the way, I intentionally did not put the six costing worm in the deck because well it's good, but it's not exactly what I'm currently striving for in my life. If you're gonna ask me what are you striving for in your life, then I have absolutely no clue. But still, get rid of this. He's not gonna play Planeswalkers, and Murderous Rider is usually removal in this deck, so might as well get rid of it. He probably has multiple shrines there. Oh no! Man, took him that long to figure out that he wants to get rid of a Triome? Jesus. At least don't draw the blue shrine. That's not the blue shrine, that's a bad shrine though. Uh oh, he can get rid of my Lurus. He can get rid of my Rample Stiltskin. <sighs> So many bad things. So many bad things. Can we get aggressive cards game, please? Thank you. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get rid of my lures. Oh no, he made the right decision. Oh, maybe that was the wrong decision. I'm not even sure at the moment. Anyway, we have healing for days. Because we only... Wait, what?! Oh god, did you just get rid of Sanctum of Fall? Oh boy! Now that's a ballsy play, but he definitely didn't expect a crackle bridge troll. Okay, it's not, and also not blocking there. Extremely questionable. Not gonna lie, boys. Extremely, extremely. Don't draw a sanctum of fall. 
Oh, good, you didn't. For the moment, there was actually, like, seriously contemplating life and whatnot. But it's good. It's good. And you know what I'm gonna draw? A Liliana! Because she's hot. Mostly because she's hot. Also because this is 100% pre-recorded. Liliana, boys! Any moment now. Ta-da! It's not actually pre-recorded, by the way. I just seriously have psychic powers. Ah, oh, what a great time to be alive. Oh, no- You fucking what, mate? That's a problem. That's a legitimate problem, honestly. Kinda did not think that one out true enough, I feel. What a stupid shrine. <laughs> what an absolute garbage of a shrine. Okay, anyway, onward we go. Oh, look at that! Mana shrines! Ain't that absolutely splendid? Wunderbar. As the French might say. Wunderbar. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Do this. Enemy Kun loses a little bit of that sweet, sweet cadaver that he calls life. That thing gets tapped as literally as expected. <laughs> Yeah, mistakes were made. <clears throat> Minor mistakes, but, you know, still mistakes. Okay, Cotton's Bastion. I need a Cotton's ba- Wait, what? No! What? What's wrong with you? Ah! Shrine decks are absolutely the worst. It's like, get the right shrines because reasons, and then stuff happens. And that's not because reasons. Okay, what do I draw? A little a, a six cost Liliana is the best. Well, that's. Well, might as well use it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Stop tapping my thing. This could have already been over. But instead you just want to do random MacGuffin garbage, enemy con. Well, why? Why? What's the deal? Okay, so Crackle Bridge Troll turns out is really not good in this matchup. Something I did not anticipate at all. But Shrine decks are, like, fucking garbage to say the least also. Oh, god damn. And he got rid of Sanctum of All. That's like the most funniest thing about this situation. Motherfucker actually got rid of Sanctum of All. And he's probably killing Liliana now. This is the most stupid shrine in the game. Just wanna. F I just feel like I should probably point that one out. Sanctum of Tranquil Light, stupidest shrine in the game. By far. And I'm gonna probably top deck a land now. That's even better. Oh wait, it's not. How did we... How did we not get any of the cards that we needed to get? In a decent combination of efforts. Yeah, well, we are dead. We can't win. It's just a waste of time. <clears throat> okay, that was just seriously stupid. We did not get the Eidolons. He got the Shrine. Well, he got all the shrines, pretty much. I wondered, I wondered, does that shrine deck play like four copies of everything? Because if it does, it's absolutely shit. Because it will lose against anything remotely not mid range, but to the uh, to the course of aggro. Ah, well, it's pretty fun. Well, not the shrine deck. The shrine deck is horrible. But you know, you get the point. Good stuff, my boys. Good stuff, my boys. Our shrine deck was better. Okay, Hateful Eidolon and Mire Grasp as literally expected. Again, not rigged at all. 
Can we please now not play against the control deck, but an aggro deck or something? Again, we're really, like, good against aggro schmagro decks. Well, not exactly the dream, but hey, this is not exactly bad. Also, boom. Card draw. Okay, so we're drawing ca uh, lands again game, huh? Is that gonna be the name? Is is that is that how it's how it works? I guess, I guess honestly, probably is, huh? Well, that's fine. A temple of Milady, not exactly good. Wonder what this is. Moss Viper. Does he have the lands that uh, that put put plus one counters on uh, snakes, cats, dogs, and oaks? Not oaks, but uh, what, what, what's the thing called? I forgot. Anyway, let us attack. Since he's a creature deck, might, might as well uh, keep my grasp right there in hand. Let's see what he does. Two man, he probably drops a Mire Triton? Ooh, that's a three color deck, huh? Oh yeah, it's definitely a resurrection deck. Okay, that's absolutely fine, because we are also a resurrection deck. And you know what? Liliana can resurrect absolutely anyone. No, she, she her, her thing can resurrect also. Well, you saw the emblem at work already, so not exactly a secret. Her emblem can resurrect opponent Kun's graveyard also. Okay, uh, not gonna attack with anything right there. Why? Because reasons. Don't look at my Lily. Don't. D she's mine. Look at her. That's mine. It literally has a name name on it. Okay, boys. Ah! Oh no, that's a card I can deal with. Oh no, that's an annoying card. But yeah, uh, so this is a dead touch deck, huh? That's absolutely fine. Not really. But close enough. Okay, a hateful idol on. Not gonna lie, boys, that's probably the best ca uh, the best uh, outcome right here. Because we do this, and we draw most likely one more Mire Grasp. Mm, a Lilian. Okay, uh, still uh, honestly fine enough. Can we... <sighs> Are we gonna top deck a land, boys? That's like the question. Are we top decking a land? Ooh! Are we top decking a I think we are. Lads, I think we're top decking a land. That's a problem, to say the least. Humbug. Obviously blocking because getting that Liliana emblem is like the number one thing that I want to do with my life. Oh boys, enemy Kun is 100% not ecstatic about this situation. I can bet that for a fact. Oh no, enemy Kun. What are you gonna do? Please not kill my stuff though, that's like a serious question. What is that? Dead touch no one cares, huh? Wow, what a combo. Okay, also I'm gonna draw uh draw uh another Liliana most likely. Let's check. Ah oh, disappointing. Oof. Like seriously disappointing, huh? Okay, well anyway, do this. Uh Instantaneous emblem. There's no reason to muck around. And now let's do this. Uh, let's get this back because I don't remember what it does. <laughs> I don't remember what this does because I don't know what this is. I don't recognize the art. I have the Godzilla art thing, so... Is this the thing that resurrected return? Yeah, it resurrected stuff. Well, now it's gonna resurrect stuff for me, most likely, enemy con. Great time to be alive. Uh, discard the card and sacrifice a thingy. Aw, oh, that was a Leyline Prowler right there, enemy con. Boys, this thing is so fun. It just is. It just is. It just works. It's just fine. And, you know, the games that even Magic wanted us to lose, they weren't even that honestly close. Oh, look at that, it's another one of those. Oh, look at that, it's a Crackle Bridge Troll coming at ya. Okay, that's absolutely great. Do this. Not sure what that did. Uh, your graveyard, we want- Oh! He just surrendered, boys. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty, it's, it's a pretty good deck, and it's an extremely fun deck. Like, if we, if we just, like, we lost two games, right? I think, or more. I, I did not pay attention, like, at all, as always. So, uh, yeah, that's essentially, I dropped the pen, so that's why I can't, uh, stupid pen. Okay, got the pen, boys. So yeah, it's an extremely fun deck. I love playing. It, it just feels fun, you know? It just does. But you, uh, one thing, yeah, I'm gonna just say it out, right? You can just do this. It's pretty good. You can uh, swap two Crackle Bridge Trolls with this and sometimes it's gonna be amazing. But all in all, I feel that it's not necessary most of the time. But again, sometimes it can be amazing. So yeah, this is the deck. It's pretty fun, it's pretty good most of the time, and it's absolutely amazing because it has Lilian in it. And he, she, discard your own card? Oh, who cares? Also, her minus 3 is pretty relative, relatively good, but in the 22 creature deck, it's questionable. Anyway, boys, that's it for this video. So, this was Quasar7 Sen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.